Hi, I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I promised that I would do this metallic 3D beveled text title in Hit Film Express. All right, so let's do it. We're gonna start by creating a text placeholder. So I'm gonna make a new composite shot and I'm just gonna make this five seconds long and I will call this the text. And I'm just going to create a new layer, a text layer. I will make it the width of the project and 800 high just so that I have enough room to be able to type film and sensei. I'm gonna highlight both of them and under the text tab, I will increase the size, I will change the font, and I will go ahead and center it. And that looks pretty good. All right, let's go make a new composite shot. Click OK. And I'm just going to bring in that text and then make it invisible, mute it, as it were. I'm going to use a piece of or a picture of some steel that I got from soundimage.org. I will leave a link in the description below. I'm going to drag that into my composite shot, and then I'm going to search for the set matte effect. And I'm going to drag that onto that. And if I twirl it open, I will source the text itself. So now the text is cut out of that piece of steel there. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to add a new light to the uh, project here, to the composite shot. It wants to add a camera. I say yes. And I'm just going to take that light and bring it down um, to the middle and maybe draw it forward just a little bit, right? Maybe, you know, that much, okay? Uh, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a parallax effect to that piece of steel, and if I twirl that open, I can invert it. And I think I will increase the depth to about 100 so that it really looks uh, strong, right? Okay, and now if I sort of take that light and I just slide it back and forth, you can see how it interacts with that, uh, that steel metallic text, okay? So now how do I create the beveling of it? Well, here's what I did. I, what I did was I cheated, which is what I usually do. So I'm going to right click on that and duplicate that steel on my upper top level duplicate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the matte cleaner effect and I'm going to drag it below the set matte effect, but above the parallax effect. And if I open that up and I just draw the feather in a little bit, I feather that maybe say around 30, yeah, 32, 30, maybe 28, 27. Now let's go 30, okay? And if I can draw the depth back maybe to 50 or so, I sort of create a little bit of a beveling effect here. Okay, now if I grab my light and I slide it here and over here, that looks really pretty darn cool, doesn't it? Okay, so now how do I get it to fly in and then fly out? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up the light. I'm going to start with that. And I just want to go, let's see, about negative 600. So I put it over here on the left. If I then keyframe it, I go to the end and I make that a positive 600. So it's on the right. Okay. So now throughout this composite shot, that light just travels across the front of that text. Okay. Now, if I make a new composite shot and click OK, and I drag in that second composite shot, the one where the light is dragging across the text, right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it into a 3D plane. I'm going to add the camera. All right. And then all I have to do is just animate that text it's already lit in the other composite so i don't have to do any of that business so i'm just going to open this up open up the transform properties under the position um let's see i'm going to go about seven frames out from one second about 23rd frame here and i'm going to keyframe it to be at about 2000 okay so it's just behind the camera i'm going to move forward the seven frames and we'll go to about 200 Boom. All right. Then we'll go to the four second mark and it'll be negative 200. So over that 
four seconds or that three seconds, it continues to sort of fade back as the light is crossing it. Then we'll move forward seven frames again. And let's go say negative 50,000, right? Yeah. And then at that point, it's going to disappear. So I'm just going to trim it off. Okay. So now if I add a motion blur to it, and then I do a RAM preview, you'll see it kind of slams in real fast, and then it'll fade back, and it will uh, fly out of the picture. When the RAM preview is done, it looks like this. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. So now all you have to do is add your sound effects, and then you have this 3D beveled metallic text flying across your screen. So if you have any questions or feedback, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.